Man, I love this music. Hello everyone and welcome once again. This is part 2 of Let's Play Crash Team Racing for the PlayStation 1. Again, as I said before, this is the casual play. I am not going to, well, show you the whole process of getting 101%, but maybe I will do it. And look at that, that is the final part of that of the game. And one thing I have to admire is that each part of the game or each zone, however you want to call it, changes the music whenever you are. So right now I don't know why this beeping sound is, but anyway, next track, Coco Park. And I have to say this one is one of the simplest of tracks, but this one is also one of the more um, how do you explain? One one that exploits your process of drifting or however you want to call it but anyway here we are and it's actually kind of cool the music oh everything in this game is so well done and especially by using the processing power of this game wow what would you look at that i got an a time portal on second place okay i don't remember that this happened to me constantly when I played when I was a kid, but uh, okay. Anyway, first lap of the game, and my god, comparing it to the new game, ugh, it looks so freaking awesome. I have to say that they actually went the mile, the extra mile, I mean, by remaking the game, because, well, they could have been the more lazy and just well just pass some high quality graphics in there like just make it more pretty and that's it but they really went far away with this one those flowers instead of looking like well whatever the heck those are oh they have good aiming not much but they have it anyway if you wanted to be lazy and just paste some pretty textures here and there but they literally remade the whole places from the ground up now that's what I call a remake but anyway the track is almost done just this last curve and that's it another cup on the back <sighs> okay, one to go, three more for this zone, and after seeing this, yeah, I know the loading times of the remake are actually quite long, but, well, what can you say, it's actually justified because loading all those awesome graphics, it takes its time. Now, where do is, uh, where is it? Oh, down here. Okay, next one is, I think, Tiger Temple. Yep. And yeah, I'm going to use the shortcut for this one. As long as I have the item to use it. Because, well, for those who don't play Crash Team Racing, some of the... Well, I think this is the only one. This shortcut can only be opened by using a throwable item. And you will know what I mean after this. And well, you might be asking why I using the fruits. Well, this one work uh, the same way as Mario's coin, only that this one has an added feature. Ooh, nice! That whenever you get ten, the items get powered up or used up, however how is called in the remake, and they become far more dangerous. TNT becomes well nice row and they explode the very moment you touch it. Like the TNT that you have to well hop a few moments so the counter well doesn't explode wherever you are. And the formula changes from red to from green to red. I'm sorry I'm starting a little but I'm really I'm sorry. Well the green one only slows you down, while the red one 
although <laughs> I am not using it to attack someone, creates a storm cloud above you and doesn't let you use the item wherever you have it. But anyway, the formulas actually can be thrown forward. So yeah, if you had good aiming, good luck. Okay, a bomb. Yeah, sometimes your RNG is, well, on your side. And this one was on my side this time. Because, let's admit it, each time you are on first place, the majority of items is either a formula or, yep, a Nitro TNT. Okay, just final part of the slap, and I'm done. Two more to go. Okay, yeah, I mean it. The loading times of the remake are justified because, well, loading all those textures, graphics, and all of that jazz, it takes its time. Now, which are yes. To get a turbo boost while power. Ah, uh, yeah, shut up. Anyway, and this is kind of a mixed feeling for me. I'm going to show you where. Okay, Papus Pyramid. This one was actually really hated by me when I was little because, well, that square scaling was kind of annoying because, well, I didn't know how to drift back in the day and it was really annoying. Whoa, thank you for the boost, Dingo Dial. Okay, let's try this one out. If I can do it here. Uh, nope, i not going with enough speed. Really? God damn it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there are actually a lot of shortcuts in this track. And all of them need to be uh, for you to be on a decent speed. Too bad I'm sucking at it. Ugh. Well, I hope I have the aiming for any other fucker who gets in my way. Okay, let's build some speed in here. One, two, three. I think I have enough. Ooh, that one. Yeah, that was that was good. Okay, let's try this one out. Um, yeah, I have enough, but I have enough. Ah, fucking wall. The detection in this place, people. Ugh. Get out the fucking way. Yeah, the blast radius was enough. Woo. Another thing from the remake is that uh, the items don't have that much impact from this one. Like, whoa, shit. Look at that. Ooh. That was a tough one. Anyway, as I was saying, in the remake, the well, the damage you suffer is not as big as you see, because well, you don't lose that much time bouncing all around whenever th something hits you. Ugh, throw it forward, you idiot. So you have in the remake, of course, more time to well, pick up the pace. In this game. If you commit any mistake, look at that. This is one. This is gonna be close one. Woo! Holy shit! She was right behind. And let's go for the fourth one. And it's one of my favorite tracks in the whole game. And if you know what I mean, well, you'll get. Uh, another hint. Get around a tight turn. After this one, I think, uh, Aku Aku's hints stop uh, showing up. I don't know why. Okay, this is Dingo Canyon. I think I was mistaken about the track I was talking about. Anyway, this one, I think, is based on the bike's uh, zones of Crash Bandicoot 3, 
but I may be mistaken. I don't care. But I uh, is it me or do I have the feeling that Rogue Runner is going to appear whenever, any moment? Just kidding. Okay, I don't know how or why, but I really don't remember how I used the hopping in that zone because ah, it's kind of finicky. And this bitch is stealing all my fucking boxes. Oh fuck. Ah oh, shit, and I get hit. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh shit. Ugh. Well, 8th place. Would you look at that? Okay, I need something to pick up the pace. Either a clock, or a new coke, or a boost. Uh, something can get me. Okay, I have to pick up on the remake for this one. Why? Is the boost able to hurt enemies in the remake? Because I don't remember this game had that possibility. Okay, a nitro. Uh, I need something to get rid of this too. Mm, bomb, maybe. I want to try and aim it well. Holy shit! Would you look at that? Two for the price of one. That was uh, kind of interesting. I don't remember that happening to me ever. But I already picking up some space. Oh shit. Well look at that. I actually managed to hop there. Huh. Okay. Ah for some reason I can drift better in here than the, the remake. Okay. Final part of the lap. Ah shit! Ugh, thank freaking god. That was close. Okay, fourth one and boss time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And as if it wasn't freaking obvious, Papu Papu is the boss of this song. Papu is world's best driver. Babu moves so fast, you much drags. You gotta admire that jiggle physics. Because that was disgusting. And again I get a assault there. Seriously, what the heck happened there? Anyway, Papu Papu's gimmicks in here is throwing formulas because well he's a witch doctor, I think. Nah, he's a tri chief. Anyway, moving on. You better start to get ahead of time ahead of him because woo okay you have to be fucking kidding me. yeah as you can see like Reaper Roo oh shit like Reaper Roo actually Papu can shoot or spam whatever you wanna call it Power up formulas, and I failed once again. God fucking damn. Okay, wait for him to be in close range and shoot the heck out of those missiles. Come on, come on. Woo, that was close. Well, it's useless to shoot the missiles here because, well, the drifting doesn't help. But in here, shoot at it! Shoot the motherfucker! Okay, I didn't have enough speed. And I don't think I'm going to risk more than I already did. Well, would you look at that? I actually hit the fucker! <laughs> the formula here, and I think he's going to fall for it. Ah, he did. Okay. Build more space in between them, shoot it here, and hope he actually gets hit, which he didn't. God fucking damn it, I really have bad luck with traps. Okay, one track, and let's see here. Okay, let's hope I can. A ah, fucking wall! 
Oh, you stupid fuck. Okay. This one is going to be close. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I fought it. Got it. Got it. Woo! Would you like that, fat ass? Ugh. Woo! That was pretty, uh, butt -lange. And finally, I got the freaking key. Man, I love this game. Okay, I have to say before I finish this part, is that why is it so unfair in the remake that whenever you, well, pass over the boss or any enemy, they have everything ready. Everything ready. And for some reason, the bosses, well, they know when and where to shoot the fucking, well, trap. Aside from, well, the last, second to last boss, well, he knows how to shoot. Anyway, this zone is done. Let's get this part over. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, well, I'm the Gaming Paul Wolfen. Have a fantastic day. And take care.